cameras rolling and bulbs flashing, Dallas shine to welcome everyone from Hollywood A-listers to first-time movie makers as they grace the red carpet for AFI. It's fun being at AFI Dallas. This is huge. I mean, this is great. It's like uh, this has become a really big festival in only, what, three years? They came for the FaceTime to promote their newest films. Many of the indies were shot in Texas, so screening here was a natural fit. We've shot in Waco, Palo Pinto, pretty much every little town. It's a great place to shoot. There's so much texture in Texas. There's so much in Texas in general, and as far as filmmaking, there's every location possible, too. Before tonight, not many have heard of films like Zombie Girl, the Austin-based documentary of a 12-year-old girl who directed and edited a movie using her home computer. We uh, talk about that a little bit in the film, just about how technology has gotten to the point where a 12-year-old can actually make a full-length movie and shoot it and edit it. But most are familiar with Oscar winner Adrian Brody and Robin Wright Penn. Brody came to show his film The Brothers Bloom. It's a story about con artist brothers who are on their final con living a life I'll be back. I'm not going to crime. But the star wasn't expecting this sort of response. When you go to a place and then there's a, a nice turnout and outpouring of well-wishers, it's all it's really nice. It's a nice surprise. Penn, who's from Dallas originally, came in support of Haze, a documentary about hazing and binge drinking on college campuses. It's an identity crisis kids are going through, and yes, we can help them to know who they are, but at the end of the day, it's, guys, we're going to teach you how to not have self-neglect and don't neglect others. For opening night of AFI Dallas, it's not just who graces the red carpet, but what they're wearing. Brody wore a slim fit Versace suit. His co star Ringo was dashing in black Yves Saint Laurent. And Penn went casual in black jeans, starched collared shirt, and understated blazer. And while some went for the conservative red carpet look, others went for funky bright outfits like yellow kicks and ties. Some were clean cut, others scruffy. No matter what they were wearing, they rocked it on the carpet. All smiles for their big debut.